Hey, thanks for watching this video. I want to talk to you about an old game called Simon Says. I bet you played it as a kid. Uh, it was a game that I love to play. But you know there's a certain principle, a biblical truth to that game. And that is people do what people see others do. It's a fascinating concept. But it's one that we must know as spiritual leaders in that we're going to have, people are going to emulate and do what they see us do as the leader. So if you're the boss, for instance, and you're always late, guess what? In time, your employees will be late. If you're uh, uh, lackadaisical, you aren't very driven, then your organizations can be lackadaisical and not very driven. If you're going to be kind of uh, uh, always just lazy or bad attitude or speak poor about other people or whatever, they're going to start doing the same thing. If they aren't, then they'll end up leaving and then you might lose some of your best employees or your best church members. So what I want to say to you today is, it's what John Maxwell calls the law of the picture. It's the idea of people do what they see others do, especially their leaders. So what is it about your life that's giving people reason to follow you? And what are the characteristics that you're doing every day or part of your weekly schedule that gives people that you say, I want them to do that? Because you're setting the stage, you're setting the tone. As a spiritual leader, that's what you need to do. There's a story in the Bible. It's found in Mark chapter 12. Uh, it's about Jesus, and he's with his disciples, and they're out on this dusty dirt road there in, in Jerusalem. And the treasury is there, the temple, where people would come up and they would give their offering, right, to, the, to, to God's work. And the rich would come up and they were give, putting some coins in or wealthy amount of money. And people were like, oh, wow, look how much money they're giving. And then a widow comes up and she gives what is equivalent today to like a penny, maybe two. It was called a quadrant then. And she puts this little tiny coin in. And Jesus is watching and with his disciples, he said, guys, look over there. He said, the rich give out of their abundance, but she, the widow, has given out of her poverty. And she's given everything. And he used that as the law of the picture of saying, guys, that's how we need to give. And it's interesting because God had that recorded in the scripture. So it's something that 2,000 years later, we'll, we're still... That serving as an example of giving in, in that people watch what we do and that we need to, 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 to set a standard. One of my prized possessions I have, I've got some old artifacts, and one of the things that, that I'm so thankful for is I have literally a, an original coin, a quadrant, that the widow's might, uh, same that, that she gave, that might, that little penny. In fact, this one could have been as old as 78 B.C., and I know you can't see it here, but on the top, is, it's, it's the actual coin, and it says, give your all. And the reason I have this in my office is it reminds me, one, for myself to give all that I've got and not hold anything back, and not give out of abundance, but to give my all, right? And the second reason I have this in, on the wall in my office is because it reminds me that I need to be an example to others in giving my all. And not just showing, you know, getting off exactly at the right time or when I'm supposed to or, or not just giving, you know, what I have to give. But how can I serve as an example to other people in giving sacrificially and to give more time and to give more value to other people and to be the, the better leader than I need to be. And so leadership doesn't come easy. It's not something that comes natural. It's something that we have to work at. But this, old, well, this widow, this old lady found in Mark chapter uh, uh, 12, it serves as a great example to us and that it really does matter of setting the picture of what other people are going to do. One more thought about this is if you're, if you're over a, a group of employees or church members or whatever and you see things done, being done the wrong way and you see things being done the right way, right? What I would suggest to you is don't just focus on the negative and point out the negative. Instead, I would encourage you to do as Jesus did with his disciples and showing them and teaching them how to give out of poverty, is I would encourage you to focus on the positive and uh, the people doing things right. You know, that person who did something sacrificially for someone else in the church, bring them up on the platform and congratulate them. And let them serve as an example to everyone else. In the workplace, someone does something uh, uh, extra or, or serves as a great example for a customer or something, applaud them, say thanks to them, show them as 
the right way to do it. And the reason is because it's focusing on the positive, which is exactly what Jesus did here in this story with the widow's mind. So just some ideas of uh, people do what they see and uh, give them reason to do something and focus on the positive. And uh, let's give our all, not just out of the abundance of what we have. Give everything you've got. It's life. It's not worth wasting. So don't go waste it. Spend everything you got on it for the power uh, to the glory of Jesus Christ and living out your purpose and your appointment for today in this appointed time for you to live life. God bless. Thanks for watching and go be an example to someone. Mm -hmm.